There are many ways of cooking pasta. This Chinese pasta recipe is a quick fix when you need to get a filling meal in just 30 minutes. Let's check out the recipe. Here I'm using spiral kind of a pasta. This enables the masala to coat in between. That is why I prefer them. I'm boiling water in a pan. Into this I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. Then I add one teaspoon of cooking oil. This prevents the pasta from sticking to each other after it is cooked. Add pasta into the boiling water. Cook up to 80%. This will take some 5 to 7 minutes. To check if the pasta is cooked up to 80%, I will take a few pasta and try cutting with a knife. If you are able to cut them, then stop cooking and remove from boiling water. Transfer it to a sieve. Pour cold water over it to stop the cooking process. Now I take one teaspoon of corn flour into a bowl. Adding water little by little, I will make a thin batter. I let the batter be of this consistency. Into a medium hot pan, add two to three teaspoon of cooking oil. Add ten pots of garlic finely chopped, one green chili slit. Then I add one inch of ginger finely chopped then the onions and some capsicum keep stirring until they cook down a little you will have to stir for some two to three minutes then add two teaspoon of red chili sauce two teaspoon of soya sauce two teaspoon of tomato sauce and finally four teaspoon of pasta sauce Mix everything together so that the vegetables blend with the sauce well and cook for 2-3 to three minutes. Add the corn flour mixed in water, give a good mix and cook for 5 minutes on a low flame. So after cooking for 5 minutes on a low flame, add cooked pasta into it. Sprinkle some oregano to get the flavor of herbs. Then add one teaspoon of red chili flakes. Slowly give a good mix. You will have to keep mixing slowly till the masala and sauce coat very well on the pasta. So our tasty Chinese pasta is ready to be served. Tips for the recipe. Cook pasta only up to 80% in boiling water. After transferring the pasta to a sieve, pour cold water over it to stop the cooking process. Half cook the vegetables used for cooking pasta. So with these steps, I'm sure you should be able to make perfect Chinese pasta at home. Thank you for watching. Try this recipe and let me know how it turned out. If you like the recipe, please like, share and subscribe my channel. I will be back with a new recipe in my next video. Until then, take care and have a good day.